Today, MTD CNC have been invited to Rigger Precision in Newmarket. Uh, this company was uh, formed around about two years ago. I'm going to talk to Joseph Jordan, the owner, about why he embarked on this journey. Um, I saw an opportunity. I uh, thought I was at the right time in my life to do it. Um, I didn't have too many other commitments. A lot of it at first, I had a couple of contacts and then the rest of the business has come through uh, going out cold calling, um, just knocking on doors, trying to speak to people and word of mouth as well, doing a good job and then getting recommendations. I'd say we specialise in CNC milling of uh, complex precision components, um, but we also do uh, manual turning um, and larger quantity um, components as well. One of the main things when I first started out was I had to think of cost because uh, I didn't have a lot of money to start with. Um, so the mini mill was perfect from that point of view. Um, I was familiar with the Haas controller. I was starting to get slightly larger components and higher volumes of them um, and that was, I was struggling to get the work through the mini mill um, and it was causing my lead times to go up which wasn't great um, so I thought um, you know it was time to expand and invest in a, a larger machine tool with more capabilities. And, and one of the things you've got here is Microlock, we do a lot with the Microlock flexible work holding system. This has added real value to you, hasn't it, with your machine here? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's transformed what is a three-axis mill into, well, a four-axis mill, but you can do a lot more with it, and um, it's, it makes it so much more flexible. Biggest hurdles, I would say, for me, starting out was uh, the lack of contacts. Um, you know, having to... Maybe when you start an engineering company, when you're a bit older, you've already got those contacts um, that where you can get work from and that kind of thing. I didn't have so much of that, so that was a big challenge. Um, you had to work really hard to gain jobs. You're pleased you made this move rather than working for somebody else? It's very hard work. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. Um, you've really got to sort of live it as a lifestyle. Um, you know, How being, many hours would you work a day? Uh, easily work 12 hours a day. I really love meeting guys like Joe. It, it really shows that uh, there is a generation of young engineers out there looking to, uh, looking from an entrepreneurial perspective to grow their own companies. Uh, if you're looking to uh, source components, then Joe could be able to uh, help you, not just on the milling side in low volumes, but in higher volumes as well. Uh, you can visit their website and we'll put the details on the screen as well. Rigger Precision.